We didn't know. Walking this road to a town called Emmaus, we didn't expect to encounter Jesus. He had died three days before this. We didn't know. Imagine this. We were trotting promptly on pavements. Our feet, our hearts, our heads, too anxious to be exhausted. We had questions, needed clarification. We were confused and a little discouraged. In the past few days, a lot has happened. And then a man on the road came towards us, and he began to walk with us. So we began to share this story with him, how there was a man named Jesus. He was a prophet. He was a healer. He was powerful in his words and his works before God and all of the people. But our leaders hated him, and they handed him over to be sentenced to death. They crucified him on a cross with thorns around his head and his body held up by nails. And it breaks our hearts, for we had hoped that he was the one that was going to redeem Israel. And now it's been three days since this heartbreak became us. And what's more, some of our friends came and tried to amaze us. They said to us that they went to his grave and found it empty. They said that angels spoke to them and said to them clearly that Jesus is alive. And others went and clarified that indeed he was not there. But still, no one has actually seen him. So of course, we don't know what to think about him anymore. And then the man on the road who was listening to us looked into our eyes and called us foolish. He said to us, Do you not believe what the prophets have spoken? We have heard from the times of Moses until now prophecies of what to look for so that we will recognize Jesus when he comes, that he would be born of a virgin, the son of God, the seed of Abraham, the son of Isaac and Jacob from the tribe of Judah, from the house of David, that he would be born in Bethlehem but would be called a Nazarene. He'd be a prophet a priest, a judge, a king. He'll begin his ministry in Galilee. He'll have a ministry of miracles. He'll be a teacher of parables. He will arrive to Jerusalem on a donkey. He will be a light to the Gentiles. And the prophecies from long ago don't stop there. They said that he would be betrayed for exactly 30 pieces of silver, that the money would specifically be used to buy a potter's field, that he'd be forsaken by his own disciples, rejected by his own people, hated without a cause, wounded and bruised and beat upon, that his garments would be divided and then gambled upon, and the hands that used to heal would be pierced through, and the face that spoke with grace would be spit upon. And the prophet said, he would die by being crucified with thieves beside him. And Jesus Christ fulfilled each and every one of those prophecies. How could you not believe him? The only prophecy left is that Jesus will rise from the dead and still you doubt him? Don't you know anything about him? And when the man spoke to us, our hearts were so convicted. So as we approached Emmaus, we asked him to stay with us. And he came and he ate, broke bread and gave thanks. And then he began to pass it to us. And in that moment, we recognized him. This man on the road who we thought we didn't know, he was the risen Christ, the Messiah, Jesus alive, standing right in front of us. And all of a sudden, it became clear to us. We said to one another, remember on the road when we walked and he talked with us, when he opened up the scriptures to us, were not our hearts burning within us? We didn't know. But then we got up and returned to Jerusalem, found the disciples and everyone with them and said to them, it is true, Jesus has risen. Remember how we hoped? Well, it has happened. He has redeemed us. 
And when we look back to this whole situation, we don't know how we didn't know. We don't know why we didn't see. We don't know what we were looking for when the Messiah was clearly standing right in front of us. We don't know when our doubt got the best of us. We don't know why we weren't searching so much to the point where we missed an encounter with Jesus. But now we can testify this. We have seen the Messiah. He didn't look like what we thought he would look like. He didn't sound like what we thought he would sound like. He didn't say what we expected him to, but he is who he said he is, and he did what he said he would do. He had died, but now he is alive. We've seen it with our own eyes, and for the rest of our lives, may we never miss seeing him move. May our expectations never clutter our vision when Jesus is unmistakably present in the room. Yes, it is 